welcome to the channel. I'm the Sad Moon Diva, and I'm going to be doing a general reading uh, for the collective. And this is all about uh, messages from your person, uh, what they want to say, what is keeping them from you, um, what actions they're going to take next. And just basically use some different cards to kind of delve into this and uh, see what uh, comes of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the intuitive messages here. And let's see. Please give me the most accurate messages, please. Please give me the most accurate messages for the collective, please. We have some that are ready to come out. So the first one says, no more tears. Okay, maybe you're no longer crying over this person or this person is no longer crying over you. I feel like there was some recent heartbreak. Some realization. And it says time's up. Yeah. I don't I don't feel like that's coming from your person. I feel like it's coming from you. I feel like you're no longer crying over this person. I feel like you've invested enough time and you feel like you need to move on. And um for some of you, you've definitely had your last cry. I don't know why. The first thought that came to my mind is Brian McKnight, One Last Cry. I don't know about anybody else, but anytime that I hear that song, I get super emotional. Um, I believe that you're walking away from this person, even though you don't want to. And that's why you're having, you've had your last cry. You feel like time is up. What happened between you and your person? It says, if you only knew. This person could have been hiding something from you. I really wanted to reveal something to you. This person could have been giving you false hope. Maybe this is the reason why time is up. I definitely feel that you or your person realize that your situation wasn't what you wanted it to be. Something either occurred in the recent ret retrograde or something's going to happen in the upcoming Mercury retrograde, which is going to be around, I believe that's the mid August, I believe it's mid-August, I feel some type of turn of events, something took place or will take place. No more tears, move on and time's up. Yeah, you've definitely walked away from a situation that caused you a lot of pain. Wow, this cars are saying reach out. Maybe this person needs to reach out to you before time's up. It falls right underneath time's up. I truly feel as if this person needs to reach out before time is up. Situation is causing them a lot of stress. Very stressful situation. I feel like it's causing you a lot of stress as well. I'm tired of being stressed over this situation. I know where you stand. But know that during this time you are protected. You are surely protected at this time. I've mixed these cards up a lot. And this is literally pulling out some of the same cards I had earlier. From another reading. I didn't get a chance to finish that reading. I didn't really feel connected to it. But now I'm seeing that this, this reading was something that needed to come out. Because these are literally the exact cards. You and your person has the initials H.
Let's look at the card on the bottom. Fear. I feel fear has held this person back. Fear has caused this person to give you false hope. Fear of letting you know how they truly feel. Fear has them stressed out. They're fearful of reaching out. They're fearful that you are done crying over them. They fear that you're going to move on. You're divinely protected. I feel as if this situation is going to have a turnaround during a Mercury retrograde. I know. Something about this situation just feels faded. Something is definitely faded. Let's see. Please give me the most accurate messages for the general collective. Please give me the most accurate messages for the general collective, please. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm getting very emotional. Feel somebody's energy is, they're really sad. They're longing for their person. Let's see if I can try to. They're truly longing for their person. I feel like they realize too late that this person is their soulmate. I believe they realize too what they feel like it's too late. The time's up. They feel like their person, they feel like they pushed them away too much and they've lost them before they had the opportunity to express their love. I'm not sure, but I feel for some of you, the reason this person is fearful of expressing their feelings towards you is because their secret that if you only knew, I believe somebody has a child or about to have a child and you don't know about it. And this person is fearful that if they tell you this, that is the final nail in the coffin. Yeah. What is this this person is holding back? What is this person holding back? Why is this person fearful? Why are they holding back? Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an Aries. It says a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, this person is going to have to step up. They're contemplating this. They've been thinking long and hard. It says meditate and contemplate. Trying to figure out. When is the right time or should they even make a move towards you? It's saying to look at the bigger picture. I feel like this situation has caused you to become jaded towards this person. Maybe jaded towards relationships. And you need to have more faith in your dreams. I feel this person dreams about you. I feel like you dream about them. I feel like you have signs and synchronicities. Things that are telling you. That even though you want to walk away from this situation, something is telling you to hold on because there's something more to the situation. Once again, I feel like this situation is faded. I'm going to see what's sexually oh, just pop right out. 
Wow. Worth waiting. I feel like some of you, it's not that you're necessarily trying to be celibate. It's just that at this time, you're not satisfied with the need or the desire or the want to be with anybody else, but your soulmate. You're holding back your love. You're holding back your emotions. You're holding back your body because you only feel this safe satisfaction, this need, these wants, and this desire for this one particular person. Somebody that loves you, somebody that confuses you all in the same breath. You can't figure it out. You don't know what it is about this person. You don't know what it is about this person, but you cannot. You cannot shake them. They're in your dreams. They're in your head. You can't shake them. Wow. It's saying the red card, forgive. Somebody's needing to forgive. I think it's you, collective. Forgive this person. I feel like they've learned some lessons. This person needs to release their guilt. They have a lot of guilt for the way that they treated you in the past. I'm sorry. This person um, that is coming through is very sad. person is very sad I usually have a little bit more upbeat but I feel like for the person that's coming through they feel defeated I don't know I feel like they feel ashamed or embarrassed or something or about the way that they treated you so it's hard for them they feel like they are asking for a lot to ask for your forgiveness I have the hugest lump in my throat right now. Um, let me try to calm down. <laughs> During this time, you're realizing that you need to slow down and you need to celebrate yourself. Okay? You haven't given yourself as much love and attention as you've given other people, particularly this person. I feel like... Your giver by heart is just a natural giver, natural nurturer. And you took on this person's problems, maybe. And you tried to make them yours. You wanted to fix this person, but you can't fix other people. Or you can't pour into other people if you haven't poured into yourself. Yeah, you're taking control of your own narrative. You don't want somebody else... This I feel like it's the person that, that that's taking, they're coming out of this need to people please. You you and them, folks, it's either you or your person is coming out of this need to people please. See how this woman here is hanging by threads and somebody else is controlling her life, writing her book, writing her narrative. You're breaking away from this. I feel like this person um, is breaking barriers. I feel as if they have for so long lived a certain way and they did this for protection because they had fear that they didn't want anybody to see the real them because they didn't want to be taken advantage of. So therefore, they presented themselves a certain way in order for them to remain guarded so that nobody can see. But I feel like you saw through this. You saw through this. I feel like this person, when they realized that you could see through them, they put their guard up further and pushed you away. And the cards are asking you to forgive this person because it wasn't you, it was them. And it sounds cliche. But they did this in order for them to be protected. This is something that they've always done. Put their guard up, put their walls up in order for them to basically just exist and not be made a fool of. They didn't want to be made a fool of. 
I can barely get through this reading. Because there's so many emotions that this person has. Or <laughs> I don't know how many energies I'm pulling. But this person... Um, They have a lot they want to say. <laughs> they have a lot they want to say to you. This person wants you to know that you need to do something for someone. Give your attention to another. This is what this person was holding back. They were giving you... Um, just a little bit, maybe breadcrumbing you, not giving you the attention that they know that you deserve. Again, this is a defense mechanism. This is something that this person did in order for them to not feel. It's saying to look at the bottom card. And it says, act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so that you will always consider them. Wow. This person... Somebody that can read your mind. This is somebody, like I said, that they come to you in your dreams and you come to them in their dreams and they speak to you telepathically. They speak to you through music. They love you, even though it's just their energy that is with you and not them in the physical. That's why they say, if you only knew. That intuitive car said, if you only knew. <laughs> What else does this person want to say? What other messages do you want to say? This person wants to say reflection. Give each other some space at this moment and trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Yeah, I have a feeling that not only are you worrying a lot about this situation and how it's going to unfold, your person is worrying about it a lot too. But even though one or the both of you may want to come forward, this is a time where you really need to reflect on this situation, kind of dive in, um, slow down. Like I said here, celebrate yourself. This person needs to take control of their own life. Okay, try to figure out what in their life is causing them to want to put on a show instead of necessarily being the person who they truly are. They're needing to learn to love themselves so that they can be able to give this love to you. 